What's up everyone, Craig from Chasing here again and today we're going to talk a little bit more in detail about the Dory and some of its features. Um, I'm going to talk about some features that I can't actually show you which are in the app but at, at a later date we will create those videos about the app. So let's go ahead and talk about the Dory. Like I've said in the past, Dory comes with a really nice hard shell case that actually is it's a it's almost a protectant for the dory so when you're traveling you just go ahead and throw this in this case um, it's really nice it's, it's got a great handle on it it's very solid and sturdy so if, it, if dory were to drop it'd be okay so let's go ahead and take dory out and go through uh, some of the features of the dory so the number one thing about the dory is it has a lot of the same features as the gladius mini it does have uh the tilt uh, up and down that is your main feature so on the app when you're looking at the phone on the right hand side there's going to be a little slider bar up and down and that's basically to ignite the up and down tilt feature of a 45 degrees so if you want you go ahead and tilt it up boom it comes straight up at 45 and it will stay now you will notice that the drone is going to want to move forward when it's tilted up and to to make up for that you're basically going to pull back on the um, left virtual joystick to keep it in its set position now when you're going down backwards it's or when you're going down it's gonna want to go backwards okay and then what you're gonna want to do is hit that left thruster forward to keep it right in place it's actually really great so if you have a shot that's right here and you want that back out shot all you got to do is just center on it and let it do its thing um, the two front motors have really cool um, kind of a gating system so basically these gating system is so that rocks and grass and seaweed and all that other stuff that gets stuck in motors isn't gonna happen I've dove this um, drone about a dozen times now and I've yet to have anything get stuck in the motor so it's a really cool feature both on the bottom and the top all three dive motors but we didn't add it on the back because these motors are set in a little bit differently than the Gladius Mini. Um, I haven't seen any problems with uh, with getting anything stuck in here as well. The back is where the port is. Now, one thing I'm going to mention is that when you're done diving with Dory, just like any other underwater drone, you're gonna wanna rinse this thing off really, really thoroughly so that you don't get a bunch of salt residue stuck in there or sea moss or whatever, even chlorine and acid. You wanna definitely wash this out because that chlorine will dry up those motors really quick and then you'll have stuck motors and you'll be calling our customer support and we'll have to take care of you there. So if you take a little extra time and take care of the product, it will last you a lifetime. On the sides, you have two ports, one here, one here. And basically what these ports are for is to let water rush in and come out the back. Same with the top, you have some, some gills here, 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 and then also along the back side. So this is to allow water freely in and out of the drone. It has a little uh, fin on the bottom and that's basically for balance. So when it's turning, it's almost like a surfboard. It's gonna hit that fin and it's gonna keep the, the, the drone on its plane, okay? So this is why that's there. It's basically a fin like a surfboard. It works really well underwater turning left right down up and it keeps that really great stability um, with these three dive motors attached you're basically going to be able to go up and down and stop um, it doesn't have per se the depth hold on it but it already has the algorithm to keep that depth at where you want it to you don't have to push any buttons or anything and it doesn't float left or right forward or backwards by any means unless there's a current in the water um, this drone will travel at a speed of about 1.7 knots in high and around 0.5 knots in the low speed. And we'll get into more of that and when we do an app tutorial and I'll break the app down for you guys. But for the most part, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. Also on top, you have a light indicator for power. Uh, green means obviously full power or running power. And then once it turns red, that means you need to get out of the water and recharge the unit. So. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. And if you have any comments about what I just said or any questions, leave them below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. See ya.